Alright, so, all right, so of course, uh, thankfully this time I actually did get lucky, uh, okay, and, I, and I, as I was, and like, in between, in between videos before I started recording again, I got a phone, I got a phone call! I, I didn't bother answering, it was most likely a telemarketing thing anyway. That's most of the calls that I get, oh, that's most of the calls I get. I'm gonna be honest, most of the calls all are indeed just telemarketing shit that no one wants. Hmm, this is actually, huh. I, 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 I do actually, actually get, actually, wait, is, is, there, is there any way to, to make this go the other way? Oh, wait, oh, wait, actually, there is. I, I, I totally, I totally forgot uh, that there was actually a way to, to make that go the other way. It actually would have, actually would have helped with that, that one, that one level where, where, where I was Luigi the whole time. I was Luigi, I was Luigi in body and in spirit. Tell because I was experiencing crippling depression. And crippling depression is what the Luigi does best. Doesn't look like I can, I can quite get up there. Nope, I can't. No matter how hard I try, it doesn't even matter, does it? Deserve, deserve life. Okay, okay, there is a coin there. I need that coin. <laughs> okay, okay, actually, I got killed by a boomerang, bro. Who would have thought? So, the long time since I actually got killed by something, I am one of those things. This has been a while. Let's put it that way. But yeah, this airship level actually actually does have some difficulty to it. It seems still an interesting level, though. Miraculously, I didn't. I, actually, I didn't die. It, it more miraculously, I got a life and then immediately lost, lost it by lost it from the thing. And I got shoving a wrench directly at my ass. Is it, it's kind of weird, oh, weird that the Bowser's airships level and stuff, and that one level that actually makes you play a Koopling that I just did. Uh, it seems weird, it's weird that they come that they come after the after the Bowser's last stand level. I think that would be the final level that they end with, but I uh, but I guess they didn't expect to stop making levels either. They just they wanted to keep on making levels. If they went on long enough, they probably would have done like Bowser's last stand too, or something like that. Which I would have been entirely okay with. Because so I feel like it was, it was actually, it was actually, actually an, inter an interesting, you know, original, original take on the, on the final level of that, you know, of Mario Brothers 3. Even if, even if it was a lot harder than the original final level it was. I'm just glad that, 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 all, that not all the cannonballs go as fast as that one does. Always able to make the game a lot harder. And I also like that they made, they made an actual original door design just for the E-Ranger levels, because those oh, sure as hell are in the original game. In fact, that's, that's probably the most impressive part about, about the E-Ranger levels, is all, 
Well, it's all, it's all the it's all the custom e-reader exclusive stuff they made uh, they made for them. That that would only ever that only ever shows up in these e-reader levels. That was the vast majority of which you would never even be able to play outside if you didn't live in. The vast majority of them you wouldn't even be able to play if you didn't live in Japan. And if you think this situation situation was bad as bad for people who like in, in the U.S. who who. who we got, we got maybe, maybe a third of the levels, if that. Uh, think about how, think about what it was, I was like, I was like for Euro, for European players who got basically nothing, who got literally absolutely nothing for the e-reader stuff. And, and, and it's actually, it's as much as the e-reader was kind, is kind of useless for a lot of purposes. I heard plenty of European players lamenting like I wish I could have had this thing, but they they never released it in Europe. So, so okay, I okay, I managed to, managed to get up. I don't I don't want that. Okay, so for something that's that hard, it's that hard to get to. That requires it requires either either ridiculously precise flying. They, like, it's, 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 like that's what you give me for something that requires either ridiculously precise, perfect flying, or ridiculously precise, perfectly timed jump. You, you, um, you give me a sink. You give me a fire flower and a one up. Yeah, seriously, there are e coins. There are e coins that aren't that hard to reach. But at least it was possible to reach. And it was something that I did reach. All right, now let's kill someone. Oh, 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 oh hey, you! I almost forgot about you. Thanks for coming back to remind me that you remind me of your abil amazing ability to die. Anyway, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys later for Bowser's Airship Two next time on the Reptile Rumble.